Oh, she's sticking. Jack, don't let go. Hey hackers, it's Goldie Fox. Today's video is all about Halloween treats. Candy, 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 candy. That's my shirt says. What do you do when you have too much candy? You make other candy with that candy. Candyception. DIY or die, am I right? <laughs> Time to treat yourself. First step. You know that problem when you like have too much candy? It's not like a problem, but a way to step up your candy game. I made candy cupcakes. But are you ready for the surprise inside? Taste the rainbow, am I right? Sorry, this isn't Skittles. Sorry, Skittles. It's so pretty. It's like the 80s in a cupcake. Yep, still tastes the same. You can't go wrong with a cupcake. Let's make it. <laughs> For this DIY, you'll need cake mix, vegetable oil, eggs, food coloring, squeeze bottles, frosting, and leftover Halloween candy. First, mix together your batter. Next, pour the batter into a few squeeze tubes. Use some food coloring to make each tube a different color. This is the fun part. Squeeze your batter into the cupcake molds, switching colors as you go. You can go crazy here, guys. There's no such thing as too much color. Now follow the baking instructions on your cake mix. I'm using this cute little cupcake oven. Once they're done, let them cool before you add frosting. So I took these out of the oven like a couple minutes ago, let them cool a little bit. Look at these. Rainbow makes everything better. These are beautiful, just the way they are, but today's video is all about Halloween treats. So let's frost it. Gonna take a, a good helping heap. So you just swirl it around. This is baking with Goldie Blocks. Smooth it out. Making sounds like smooth it out helps you frost it. There we go, we give it some texture. That looks beautiful. Then we're gonna take a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. <gasps> Not gonna use that one, because that's unsanitary. So we're just gonna unwrap her lightly. Just get her out, place her front and center. And then you're gonna take a Rolo. Frost the Hershey's bar. Place her on top. Look at how cute that is. We're gonna frost the Rolo. Making a tower of pizza over here. You know what, we're gonna take the fireball. There's a lot of controversy about fireballs, but She's her own person. Betty Crocker who? <laughs> Let's frost some more. <laughs> this one I'm gonna keep it classy. So you're just gonna try to make it a little pointy, you know? Act like you have a frosting tip. Round and around and up. Man, baking. We're gonna take a Kit Kat bar. And then we're gonna stick her up like that. Like one ear. We're gonna take another Kit Kat. And then we're gonna stick her like that. I like it. Oh, we're gonna take some Smarties. How is that already open? <laughs> it's raining Smarties. Oh, look. It landed on top of it. We're gonna sprinkle some Smarties on her. Up, oh, up. Oh. Then we're gonna go in with an airhead. We're gonna make it a tongue. Wow. That is art. Picasso is quaking. And I got frosting on my hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot a pen. Oh, I have Mentos. Man, I knew this would come in handy. Yes, I know this may look weird. Goldie, you're writing with Mentos. No, 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 my friend. It's a fake Mentos candy pen. It's just like a big grip on a pen. I know what I'm doing. They kind of look that tire guy, the white tire guy with all those rings around him, and you're like, why? Are you okay? Let's hack. A candy pen. For this DIY, you'll need a pack of Mentos, air dry clay, a pen, an X Acto knife, and scotch tape. First, take apart your pen so you just have the ink tube and the pen tip. Next, carefully cut open the wrapper with an X Acto knife. 
If you want, you can eat all the Mentos. Using a real Mento for size reference, make a bunch of them out of clay. Now, skewer the clay Mentos onto your pen. And there you go, a candy pen. After letting it dry overnight, stick the pen into the candy wrapper. Use tape to secure it. It looks so real, you guys. You may think, this is pointless. Yes. And? Why a Mentos pen? Why not a Mentos pen? You can literally use that on anything you want to. Why a glitter school? Why not a glitter school? Why not a pumpkin? Why not a bad hat? Why not rainbows? Why not a Mentos pen? Because, like, they won't say anything. They'll just walk away. They don't know how to respond to that. Drop the pen. That was satisfying. <laughs> and for our final hack, I made Galaxy Candy Apples. It's not your normal run-of-the-mill candy apple. It's Galaxy. Galaxy makes everything better. Rainbow makes everything better. Galaxy makes everything better. Hollow makes everything better. I also made a green. I also made a green one. <laughs> it's giving me Snow White vibes. If the witch was like, Snow White, eat this apple, she would be like, that's a beautiful apple. Let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need sugar, corn syrup, edible glitter, food coloring, a skewer, and a candy thermometer. First, grab an adult to help you. Making candy can be tricky. Start off by mixing everything together on medium-low heat. While you're waiting for it to heat up, go ahead and skewer your apple. Add the glitter when it starts to boil. When it's at 300 degrees, take it off the heat and let the candy stop bubbling before you dip the apples. So cool! These galaxy apples literally look like a galaxy on a stick. You're the apple of my eye. Man, I'm punny today. This wasn't originally green, it was originally this color. Do these look the same to you? Oh, and they're stuck together. It was purple, and then I added a little bit of green food coloring to make it darker. I did the same thing to this one. I think it got too hot and it turned green, but I'm not sure. This is a mystery to me. Like, as much as we know about science, there's so much we don't know. Like, we only know 5% of the ocean. Let that sink in for 0.2 seconds. And we haven't even gotten to the entire galaxy. Okay, we're gonna have a taste test. Which one should I eat first? I think I made the pretty one first. I'm sorry. So let's taste you. I'm actually kind of scared. It's fine. I mean, the candy doesn't taste the best. It's like candy paper. If that was a thing, this would be it. I think this is more of a decoration thing, but if you want to lose all your teeth, go for it. Eat your heart out. But the apple tastes good. Also, when you like dip it, the excess drips off and you catch it. Whoa, that took a lot of manpower. It's candy brittle. This tastes like candy rocks. A little burnt. <gasps> this is the green one. That's why it turned green, it's burnt. I understand now. Are you purple? This one's pretty. Let's try this one. Oh man, that's not very good. So it's not that good, but you know when something's not that good and you're like, hey, like eat it, like try it. Like if it's bad, I don't wanna try it, but then you try it anyways. It's like an agreement thing. I don't know why. Is it probably because I'm hungry? It's not that good, but I keep eating it. Thank you guys so much for eating with me. And if you didn't make it and you just watched it because you're hungry, me too. Literally me. Whenever I see someone eating and I'm hungry, I just like eat through them when I'm eating like hummus and they're eating cupcakes. <laughs> also, what was your favorite? Comment down below. My favorite was the cupcake because it's rainbow and it's candy and it's a cupcake. Give it a like if you liked it because thumbs are cool. Yay, you like monkeys. Also subscribe because Goldie Squad is awesome. Yeah. That's all I have for you guys today and Goldie Blocks is out. Sorry, I was trying to do something new. <laughs> anyway, bye. Because thumbs ups are, thumbs ups? Thumbs ups are pretty cool. I'm saying it right. Thumbs up 
ups. Thumbs are so weird. Like that word is so weird, thumbs. Going back deep into Goldie's mind. Okay, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah.